Hello. In this video, I'm going to demonstrate how to install a Shelly 2.5 for a roller shutter. I am using the UL listed version of the Shelly 2.5. I will demonstrating using two light bulbs that represents the engine's movement direction. I am using a momentary switch which is a good solution when using it with a Shelly as you will not need to move it to the middle and back when the curtain state was changed with the Shelly. Take in mind that only one light bulb can be on at a given time, that is because we can't send the engine power for both direction at once. Please take in mind that such installation should be done by an electrician so performing this yourself is under your own responsibility. There's a danger of an electrical shock or even a fire hazard for loose installation. Please be careful. We'll start with opening the switch using a simple screwdriver. You can notice that there's a single live wire that comes into the switch and two outputs that go out to the engine. You also need a neutral wire as the Shelly requires both a live wire and a neutral wire to operate. The live wire is connected to the center back of the switch and it's also bridged to the other center input. From that other center input we will bridge the live wire to out Shelly switch. In addition, there are two outputs. One for closing the roller and the other is for opening it. The Shelly will be connected between the roller engine and the switch for both wires. The current two output cables from the switch will be connected to the O1 and O2 terminals and instead of them we will connect two short wires to the SW1 and SW2 terminals. It doesn't really matter which is up and which is down as Shelly allows you to reverse them with a single checkbox. In addition, we have to connect one of the L terminals to the live wire and the N terminal to a neutral wire. Now that all the wires are in place and we have made sure the connection is tight and no exposed wires are visible we can close the switch. It seems that the physical switch is reversed. The fix for this is simple. Open the switch, take it out and simply rotate it and put it back in with no need to touch the wires.
Looks like the switch is working which means the connections are probably good. Now we need to check that there's a new Wi-Fi network for the Shelly we just installed. We will either use the Shelly app or a regular browser to continue with the setup. I'm going to demonstrate the setup using the browser, the app is even easier to use. You should see a new Wi-Fi network for the Shelly you just installed. Connect to that network and open 192.168.33.1 in your browser. If you don't see the network, make sure you connected the device properly and if you did you can try resetting the Shelly with the reset button or with five consecutive clicks on the switch right after you turn on the power. Let me demonstrate how to reset the Shelly without opening the switch. Take down the power. Bring it back on. Click five times on one of the switches within 60 seconds. The blinking lights together with the Shelly device making clicking sounds will confirm that it's reset. In now case of a roller browser. shutter you won't see the lights Once but you will hear the, the web clicking. interface. We can test that the Shelly is working as expected. It seems the Shelly is in a relay mode which is for lights. We want to test it in the roller shutter mode. Because we are using a momentary switch we will set the button type to momentary. We will also check the reversed controls as it seems the buttons in the web interface are currently reversed than what we expect. I will also set a low value for the working time just for the test purpose. Open and close are both working from the web UI each for 5 seconds. It seems the physical switch is not working as we want. It only sends power as long as it's held down which is not what we want from a momentary switch. Let's try to find what setting is wrong here. We will set the button mode back to toggle hoping it will resolve the issue. That's it. Now the switch works both from the browser and from the physical switch. In addition to the web interface, you can integrate the Shelly with almost every smart home system like Google Home, Alexa, Home Assistant, OpenHab or anything that can communicate using MQTT or HTTP. This is a truly great device. Thanks for watching.